Hi guys, this travel guide is brought to you by a real local. Si, sono italiano. Today, we'll guide you through Milan with its signature galleria, the main square Piazza Duomo, this Forzesco castle, top cheap local eateries with no tourists, four must-visit architecture masterpieces all close to each other. Since there's so much content to fit in one single episode, we'll be doing a four-episode travel guide. You can find all of our episodes in the link here in the upper right corner. Every episode is curated to maximize your time and travel efforts. You may modify our itinerary as much as you like, but it might not be as efficient. Going to touristic places and following the beaten path is boring. We don't like boring. We take you to secret places that nobody knows. Enough with a pay this and pay that. Free. The episode in this pop-up here is connected to today's video. Watch both videos to get the full experience. All places from both episodes are super close. You can visit them on the same day. Before you get confused, Piazza in Italian means main square in English. We'll talk about biking, public transport, and cheap local eateries towards the end of the video. Watch till the end and enjoy Milan like a local. Today's focus is Milan's free to visit landmarks. Let's start with the castle in the city center. Sforza Castle was built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza, Duke of Milan on the remains of a 14th century fortification. Walking around here is a truly remarkable experience. We love taking a stroll around the beautiful ancient gardens and sitting somewhere for some picnic. Your own food, beautiful green gardens, and the site of a huge castle. How can it get any better? Walking distance, you'll find this beautiful newly designed and built district with a dedicated metro stop called Three Towers, Tre Torri. The district is called City Life. It's a residential, commercial and business district close to the old city center of Milan. It has an area of 36.6 hectares. The development is financed by Generali Group, designed by famous architects Zaha Hadid, Arata Izozaki and Daniel Libskind. The whole project costs 2 billion euros. The three towers are the straight one, also known as Allianz Tower, the twisted one, also known as Generali Tower, and the curved one, which is being built as we speak. Walking distance is the Parco Industriale Alfa Romeo Portello, a 370,000 square meter park in the heart of Milan. Important features are the two main little hills. One has a shape of a double helix resembling DNA, with one path for going up and one path for going down. People never meet this way. The other nearby hill was built using scrap material and earth soil dug from other projects in the area. It has an S shape with a double entrance. This park is meant to offer relaxation and quietness from the city rush. This is the Casa Milan. Sport club of the legendary football team AC Milan. You may come here for a visit if you're a fan. Take the subway and reach the Garibaldi FS metro stop. Get off and go to the Bosco Verticale. Two towers built in 2014 by the Boeri Studio with a height of 111 meters and 76 meters and contain more than 900 trees on 8,900 square meters of terraces. Literally next to the Bosco Verticale are the Italian Google headquarters, if you're interested. I'd recommend a mini stop here since it's a very beautiful area. Five minute walking distance is the Unicredit Tower, another masterpiece of modern architecture located in the most advanced and businessy district of Milan. 
A stroll here during the day allows you to see how Milan is really changing, reacting and growing to be a very progressive city. Many chic boutiques are located here in the adjacent Corso Como. Also a known location for evening strolls and nightlife. The famous Hollywood Club is located here. However, we don't recommend going. It's a total ripoff. Mainly people in their 20s, overcrowded and drinks are extremely expensive. After all this walking and sightseeing, there is nothing better than some good old Italian food. You have two options to choose from. Both are unique. The first option is having a stroll at the Navigli near Porta Ticinese right here. It's sort of a Venice in Milan with water canals and beautiful little houses. Not only it's a very romantic place, but also serves late cocktails in the open, all-you-can-eat buffet, both for only 10 euros all included. Every time I visit my mom in Milan, this is the place I come to all the time. I love it. Alternatively, if you're more into comfy dining, quieter place, and super delicious a la carte dining, we recommend Piccola Ischia. It's a typical restaurant from the center south of Italy. Plenty of beautiful decorations resembling the streets of Naples. Balconies, vineyard leaves hanging from the ceilings and delicious food. Prices here are super good. The traditional handmade pizza from Naples costs 8 euros. Appetizers 3 euros. And it's all so good! This is another place I come to all the time. Now here's the biggest tip we can give you. Your city movements, don't do them by car, but by foot, bike or subway. We don't recommend using a car since it's full of restrictions and it's very easy to get a fine. Subway connection is very efficient and saves you tons of time. You may purchase a standard ticket for 1.5 euros and it lasts up to 90 minutes or a 24 hour ticket for 4.5 euros or a 48 hour ticket for 8.25 euros. The longer the duration and the more you save. However, we recommend buying an option that nobody talks about and it's called Settimanale 2x6. It costs 10 euros and it allows you to travel twice per day for a total length of 90 minutes each ride. This way you don't have any time constraints allowing you to use bikes. Alternatively, you can rent a bike from Bike MI and go green. Rent it for either a full day or for a week. All you do is register online, select the daily package, 4.5 euros, or weekly package, 9 euros, and after you've paid, you get a username and password and unlock your bike. Done! The first half hour ride is free. After that, you pay 50 cents for any extra 30 minutes. The timer resets when locking the bike in the designated areas. You can find tons of them around and scattered throughout the whole city. Since you're moving between landmarks that are close to each other, you won't pay anything extra. And 4.5 euros per day is a super bargain, trust us. Our top priority is first, to save you money. Second, to live the place like if you were a local. And third, to enjoy the most without compromises. I'm from Italy and there's absolutely no way you're getting out of my country without doing the coolest and cheapest things possible. And you'll never get ripped off. I promise you. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like and share if you care supporting us. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.